says, welcome to the University of Florida. And we're here at their bat house barn. We wanted to stop by as we came through Florida and tell you guys that it's here, a little bit about it, and show it off to you back here. Now these barns were built by the University of Florida and house uh, up to about a half a million bats. The estimated total capacity is about three quarters of a million bats. So there's quite a few bats in here. So we just wanted to uh, show it off to you a little bit, take a look. And you know, our bat houses aren't quite this big. We've never built anything on this scale, but who knows, we might. Well, we're here and we couldn't resist stopping to bring you guys the story of the University of Florida bat house and barn. Now we visited unannounced on a weekend because we just happened to be in the area traveling through for our 25th anniversary. That's right, my wife and I have been married for 25 years now. We decided to take a month off and take our Russian Ural motorcycles and just see the southeast of the country, about a 3,500 mile trip or so. So you can check that out on Gone Uraling and learn more about our trip. But back to the University of Florida, the first bat house was built in March of 1991 to provide a roosting location for bats that were being excluded from the track stadium. Now these bats had previously occupied a structure that burned down and not wanting to simply exclude the bats, leaving them no home, potentially causing more problems at other buildings, they decided to build a bat house. And they didn't just build a little bat house, they built a big bat house. Now even with a large colony of bats being excluded nearby, the house remained largely vacant for about four years. It wasn't until 1995 that a maternal colony of bats moved in and it's been growing ever since. In fact, in 2010, the second bat barn was built. Now that bat barn was built to accommodate the explosion of colony growth, bringing the total capacity close to three quarters of a million bats. Now both structures simulate what you might expect to find in a typical house attic or barn attic being largely open and hot. Now no baffles were created inside of these, but there's plenty of rafters and crevices for the bats to roost in. The Brazilian free-tailed bat is one of Florida's most common species and it represents a large portion of the roosting population, but other species are present as well, like the evening bat and the southeastern bat. So what do all these bats do? Well. They eat about 3 billion insects every night. Unfortunately, we couldn't be there that evening just after sunset for the emergence, but we do plan to return in the future in a more official capacity rather than showing up unannounced. And we're going to learn more about these bat-tastic bat houses. Sorry, I had to get the pun in. Now off to the bat bikes to continue our trip. Okay, yeah, another pun. <laughs> hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe to support us. It helps when you click the like button and when you subscribe to our channel. We appreciate every subscriber and all of the support and comments that we have been getting.